Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend. We're going to take a look at your weekly messages, what shows up here for August, my gosh, 5th through the 11th. So if you're new to my channel, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below. And uh, yeah, thanks for all your support and your super chats and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's take a look and see what messages you have showing up for this week. Okay, you've got soulmates, soul connection. Oh, look at the shadow. It's like claws. Soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Can you see it? You see? You see? Okay. You also have a date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. Okay. Oh, and you have passion and seeing chemistry, liking each other equally, and having fun. Wow, looks like you're going to connect with a soulmate this weekend, or this week. Could go into the weekend too, right? But it looks like you're going to connect with a soulmate uh, or make a soul connection with someone. There might be a date. You might be uh, meeting someone new this week for sure. Um, it could be unexpected. You know, you might not even be that Virgo that's looking or you are that Virgo that's looking. A lot of passion. You are connecting with someone this week. <clears throat> um, there, so there's. A, I don't know if you're going to actually go on a date this week. You could. Or there is a planning and setting a date to meet someone new um, and seeing chemistry. So, hooray! This is awesome for you. Uh, partnership agreement. Beautiful energy. And seeing chemistry, liking each other equally and having a good time. So let's get more into this. Who is Virgo going to be connecting or meeting with this week? This new person. This is meeting somebody new. All right. Okay. Could be someone who's from far away. Um, yeah, you might meet this person over the internet. Um, so if you're on like apps or social media or something, there's a connection. Um, there's travel involved here. So um, this person will be definitely either taking an Uber <laughs> or, you know, take maybe they're taking a bus. I don't know. Whatever. Um, definitely connecting, coming to see you. Okay. So there's a connection here to do with travel. So travel could be, you guys could be six hours away from each other. You could be an hour away. You could be six minutes away from each other. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like there's a, some kind of a distance. I don't, you know, six minutes is not a big deal. Um, I suppose if it takes six minutes to get there by car or vehicle, um, how long would it take to walk, right? So whatever. Um, you could be meeting this person um, while you're traveling as well. You could be away and you connect with them. Or like I said, what the biggest message I feel like is you're gonna you'll connect with this person. It feels like For, for some of you, it feels like it could be an online thing. You could meet at a roulette table, um, they're saying. But there's they're, they're giving me wheels here, like wheels on the bus. I don't know. You might meet this person on a bus, too. Yeah, they're telling me that. Okay. So it's a couple of different ways that you might. You, I feel like you'll be connecting with this person. Uh, let me just see here. Uh, they're, they're definitely yeah okay i already said it like a roulette wheel or maybe you're hitting the slots this this week or you know you're going to be on a ship or a cruise you could meet somebody on a cruise oh wow okay hmm this this is this is something where i feel like the passion and the chemistry is so strong that there is this sense of I want to say like an instant, oh, I already know I want to be with Virgo. I, like, like I think I've met the one. Someone, I don't feel like so, this person says this to, to you. You know what I mean? Uh, but they're giving me this sense of like, this is the energy that will be felt. Like, oh, wow. Like, because the chemistry is so damn good. The chemistry with this person, it could be a Leo. A fixed it's a fixed sign could be a leo taurus scorpio or aquarius okay 
yes um some of you're going to hear this person um is currently building a house or remodeling a house okay or remodeling their home or building a new home or refurnish refurbishing an old an older home um, or they might work in something to do where there's a schematic they're giving me a schematic schematic am i saying that right they're giving me a schematic so any kind of traditional job or any kind of work where there's like a schematic involved okay what else this is so great what else can you tell virgo about this new person this new person that virgo is going to be meeting oh wow page of pentacles so um i feel like I feel like this person is very patient. I'm hearing they're very they're a very patient person. They might be um, there's something to do with scholar or schooling. Very strong energy of schooling. So there could be some some connection to a school in some way. Uh, there's also some this person is is fit. I'm hearing they're very fit. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, so it could be another earth sign as well. Um, they're also giving me cusp. So Aquarius, Capric Capricorn Aquarius cusp, Leo Virgo cusp. Um, Capricorn Aquarius cusp, Leo Virgo cusp. And yeah, that's the, those are the two cusp signs. Okay. So, you know, you could be the Leo or the Virgo, or you can meet someone who's on the cusp of Leo Virgo um, or the Aquarius Capricorn. Okay. That, that was just a little side thing they're telling me. Anything else? Oh, wow. This, this, this is like. I, they just keep giving me like jackpot like this you're you're connect the, this the, this is going to be the person for you for like a really long time this is going to be your person this new person you know they keep giving me the number six they keep saying the number six so their birthday could be on the sixth or you could be a september sixth birth date where this might resonate more for you um but they keep, they just keep oh six okay 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 they're saying six is the number for the lovers which represents harmony decision choice for two people to be together and communication yeah i'm telling you this this person they're going to make that love offer, the, the proposal, or, or, or talk about, you know, like, at some point. Like, this is where they are in their life. This is what they have on their mind. This person is looking for a long-term partnership, okay? They've been on their own. Perhaps you've been on your own. This person is very self-reflective, and they've also been doing a lot of thinking. Um, there's an 1111 happening here. Yes, there's an 1111 situation happening here. This is like when I get the 1111 right here, this gives me an energy of like this is divinely guided. You connecting with your person. Now, maybe you already know them, right? You could already know them. Some of you might already know them, but you haven't dated. So you may have made a connection before, but you haven't dated or gone out yet. And this energy <clears throat> starts playing out this week my gosh you've got the two of cups i am telling you virgo this is two people who are on the same page and it's a very healing energy with the caduceus and it's a give and take it's beautiful it's like it's like meeting your best friend <laughs> do you know what i mean i mean it's just it feels nice it feels nice i really hope that this happens for you this week it's a soulmate connection 
which is way better than that twin flame ish the soulmate connection is like wow if your heart doesn't beat too hard you feel comfortable in each other's presence you feel calm that's when you know it's the right one when it's not the right one there's a lot of anxiety and there's ex unless you have that as a disposition already but if you don't um, you won't feel this extreme pitter patter in your heart you won't feel nervousness you won't feel awkward it, it's just comf there's a there's an understanding there's harmony there's compatibility there's there's a feeling of coming together of saying hey i've been waiting for you for a really long time you're the one i feel like that's gonna be or at least the one for now which is great right i feel like this is the energy of what you're going to experience and feel with this person but it's not even so much about the emotions as it is about the intimacy there's an understanding and an ability to share right which you know like everybody's always like well do you love me do you, if you don't love me then it's not always about the emotions it's it's about the the intimacy of to be um to be able to share your innermost thoughts with someone your your or your secrets you know that that doesn't necessarily have to do with being in love that's just about being able to feel comfortable and safe and open with your person this person who will eventually be your person where you both will have this even give and take back and forth where there's a i'm just feeling comfort you know and i know some people are like no nah, i don't want comfort i want wild and crazy but maybe you won't maybe you'll be like you know what no i don't and once you connect with this not to say listen don't get me wrong the passion will be there oh yeah the passion will be there and the passion is that physical attraction that definitely is kind of it's going to play into this as well i feel like this reading is going to be super short because it's just so straightforward it feels like it's just so straightforward for you so yeah there's a connection here and it mostly feels like while that you you guys will meet while you're out while you virgo are out and about somewhere somehow some way they could be work coming to work on your house or work or, you know maybe it could be like maintenance i don't know <laughs> it's just it's a chance encounter that's what i feel like even if this person you've connected with them somehow but you haven't actually gone out on a date it's just been it's like a, just a waiting period but it's a chance encounter to connect to meet this person protected you're safe and divinely guided very beautiful energy oh there might be an apology that you get from this person perhaps like i said if you already uh somehow connected with them but you didn't actually go on a date there could have been a delay for some reason so you might get an apology for them from them about the delay okay what else does Virgo need to hear yep someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation there's an awakening oh my gosh Virgo I feel like you're just this is one of these these this is one of these encounters everybody has a special encounter right i have three <laughs> but every that i never forget but i feel like this is going to be one of those encounters that will be unique and then after time of being together with this person you're always going to remember the way you met there's something special about the way you meet it's it feels unique and it feels kind of unorthodox like it's not necessarily uh oh i just they gave me an image of like you walking down the sidewalk holding a coffee or maybe a bag of something from shopping and you drop something or this person bumps into you. it's very kismetish chance encounter kismet so it's completely unexpected yes completely unexpected the way you you and this person connect and then this date happens it's it's just kismet it's like soulmates you know they always say when you're not looking for it love that's when love walks in that's when you meet your person so trust is safe to trust in this situation and oh, oh, lovely I'm so happy for you i'm gonna cry <laughs> stability this relationship can stand the test of time this is so great for you this is so great 
Now, I know some of you are like, I'm not trying to date anybody. I don't want a relationship right now. That's fine. Um, it doesn't mean it's not going to come in. It could come in and you can de you could decline. Okay. And um, so you, at the end of the day, when you click off the video, like I always say, you got to be the one to make that, to make your own decisions. Okay. Um, make your own determination. Let's see what the cosmic insights have to say. Okay. <laughs> You're kidding. You have gambling. Just like with the Wheel of Fortune there. So there could be, an, a, a, you could connect with this person. You could connect with them in a Gambler's Anonymous meeting, or you might find out that they are in that. So they're recovering, they're recovering gambling. Or you could just be out. Um, and it's just fun. Just just like, you know, having a good time gambling. Like I said, some of you could be on a cruise or on a ship or something along those lines. And there's, and there's this, oh, let's, you know, play the roulette wheel. Have some fun. There's a connection there. Okay, for some of you, it's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For others of you, there is a water sign showing up here that has a gambling addiction. Doesn't have to be this new person. This could be somebody else. Um, but it could be this water sign that you connect with. Okay, let's see. Oh, what was that? Oh, health. Health issues could arise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I don't feel like that's related to this. But luck is on your side. So any health issues you may be feeling that you have um, or that might come up this week, luck's on your side about that. You just need to find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Take care of your health. You might get a little health scare. You know, it, and so what that what would that mean? You know, that say you get you feel some flutter in your heart. Remember, I was talking about that earlier, but I don't feel like it's from this relationship. Like you might just have too much caffeine, and all of a sudden one night you're, you're sitting there and your heart's fluttering, and you kind of are like, you know, Virgos could be hypochondriacs. <gasps> what is that? I gotta check the W uh, WebMD. So that could be playing out, right? Um, you're fine. You're gonna be okay. No matter what this is, you're gonna be okay. Maybe don't drink so much coffee or caffeine. Intimacy. There you go. Sexual chemistry, reminiscing. So there's definitely going to be intimacy. Now, intimacy isn't always sexual. It could be emotional. Um, it could be mental intimacy. Sharing your thoughts, sharing your feelings, sharing your physical passions. It's definitely going to be a key player in regards to this connection. All right, manifest. You've been telling the universe exactly what you want. And here it comes. Stick out your can. It comes a garbage can. Yep. You've been telling the universe exactly what you've been wanting. And it's coming through for you. Let's see the Chinese sign of you and or this person when you meet. You have Year of the Dragon. Oh. Year of the, of the Ox. Oh, I was going to say pig. Year of the Ox. Year of the rat, there's the pig. Year of the monkey, year of the goat, year of the rooster. Goat and the rooster are always together. I can, what's going on there? And the rabbit, okay. Hmm, ooh. So listen, you could both be monkeys. You know what I mean? Or it could be they're a dragon and you're a monkey. You could both be roosters. It just depends, right? You'll find out when you when you do your background check, Virgo, because I know you're going to do your background check. <laughs> so where do you live? Okay, can I have your account number? All your bank account numbers? No, I don't need your password. I'm not trying to get in there. I just need to do a background check. I want to see how your credit is. Credit score. Well, yeah, well, maybe I'll be able to help you with your credit score. I might be able to help you with your banking issues or your money. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> have you been married before? Okay. No? All right. I'm going to have to Spokio that and check and see all your previous marriages and relationships and, every, you know, your financial. <laughs> Listen, look, I'm not one who is, I don't believe in like stalking the ish out of people like i feel like you can just trust your gut and well trust your vibe so i feel like 
when it comes to other people, trust your your gut. Trust your gut when it comes to people. Maybe not so much with anything else other than people, but when it comes to people, like your body will tell you if something feels off, even if you can't pinpoint what it is, trust the energy that you feel, okay? And when something doesn't feel off, and if your body will tell you, okay? However, in this day and age, if you're connecting with a complete stranger that doesn't have any, like, you don't have nobody in common, and they're coming out from East Jabip, all right, you definitely, see, can you tell I'm a Jersey girl? They're coming out from East Jabip. You definitely want to do a little bit of a background check just to, just to kind of get an idea, okay? Because, look, I don't know if I would have said that like in the 90s or in the 80s, maybe it should have been done. But now you have access, make sure that these, whoever you're getting involved with, even if the vibe feels right, you still should check to make sure because people do a lot of crazy things and, you know, I really don't know what the percentage is, but I know I watch enough crime documentaries to know that it's out there. So you do want to protect yourself, right? And I don't think I really needed to tell you that because I think that you're pretty aware of Virgo. Like, you know. All right. I'm going to do your Moon Pie Tarot messages. What else does Virgo need to know? Good news about money. Fantastic. So this week you're going to get some good news about money. Positive news coming in. Victory, recognition, applause, definitely good, and more good news. Endure and be patient, Virgo. You're being asked to endure and be patient this week. Okay, might be some arguments and separation at this time and during this week for you. So, you know, take that for what it is. Uh, endure and be patient with any argument or separation that's occurring or will occur in your life this week. Just like, don't don't drag things. Don't tear the meat off the bone to the point where you got to be right. Just leave shit alone. Look, money in the bank. So let's segue into money because I feel like that's a double whammy message. Good news about money and money in the bank this week. So love looks good. Let's take a look at your finances, your career plans. What else does Virgo need to know? finances and career expression you need work that lets you express your creative self you could do well at writing blogging or career and communication it's so funny because i have actually been contemplating changing my career and focusing more on doing writing so as a virgo that totally resonates okay so any kind of creative thing that where you could express yourself, writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Well, I feel like because Virg Virgos are Mercury ruled, like obviously I'm a Virgo and I communicate, I'm on YouTube, this is my career, right? Um, I feel like those are the best types of jobs for Virgos because they're ruled by Mercury, right? Communication or any kind of expression or writing or blogging, okay? Um, now, even if you don't want to do that for a career, because I know there's a lot of Virgos who are really good with money, finances, um, and analytical things, you know, um, but I feel like if you need to, you need an outlet for some type of creative expression. So this might be something, you know, art, working in the art field doesn't always, or the creative field doesn't always pay out well. It really just depends on your commitment, your perseverance, your determination, and your consistency to really reach where you want to be. So, but if you just want to, you need to get yourself into a place where you just want to color in a coloring book, then do it. You also have flexibility. You'll need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes. So there's coming changes this week. While it seems extreme, just hang in there. This too shall pass. So endure and be patient. So anything that you could be dealing with this week, you need to remain flexible. Um, so needing to see in the dark to maneuver through. So obviously, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a bat. Who? Um, yeah, go over to my Facebook page, The Tarot Girl. I posted this thing where 
Halloween weekend, we're going to have like a lunar moon, an eclipse, and or the, is it the blood moon? A whole bunch of stuff happening on Halloween weekend. So go check that out. The link is in the description box. But anyway, this is all about being flexible this week. Okay. Whatever is going on that feels extreme this week, just exhale. Inhale and exhale and feel your way through things because there might be some dark passages that you need to pass through again relying on you know what bats do they they rely on their senses to get through the dark okay there's i know we all don't have sonar radar but we do have we do have our fingers that can help us feel our way through the dark and we do have our senses that we can try to utilize okay so um whatever dark thing you're getting through here just understand it will be light will come up again everything will pass in every area of your life you also have an opportunity doors will be opening up for you you have the chance to change jobs start a business or invest in a new venture just do it so when the opportunity knocks answer the door that's the message don't wait well unless you have a good reason to wait okay if you have a good reason to wait and think that the opportunity could still be there after a little waiting period, then do what you got to do. Okay. You also have magic. Wow. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky is the limit. Wow. I got the power. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. So you have some power for some, some stuff for magic this week. You have power. Um, use that magic, which is what the manifestation is, the magician. You manifest and tell the world, the universe, exactly what you want, okay, to draw that into your life and be specific or be in the Pacific, whichever. Maybe you're in the Pacific. All right, let me give you also on my other channel, you guys. So I started doing the every two weeks, this is by Zodiac Sign and um, a subscriber here said, wouldn't it just be great if, I think that's what she said. She said, wouldn't it just, I think it would be great if on your Moon Pie Tarot channel, you just do collective reads and then at the end of the read, check each zodiac sign to see what the energies are. So I took her advice and that is what I did last week. And so I'm going to um, start doing them that way for more just a collective read so it's for everybody if it resonates it resonates and if it doesn't it doesn't and then the zodiacs at the end and i'm going to try to get those up by midnight uh most nights okay so now you have stand up for yourself virgo and your beliefs have confidence challenge those in power but also choose your battles wisely so i kind of feel like you know virgo a lot of virgos like well, not a lot. There's some Virgos out there who they don't stand up for themselves because they feel they might hurt somebody or they feel like they would feel really guilty if they do that or somebody might walk away from them. Virgo, you cannot live your life based on how other people feel. If you're that Virgo that struggles with that, people need to know where you stand in life. And if they don't like it, they can get the fuck out. That's just the way it has to be. You have to have your boundaries and do what's best for you. And you have to stand up for yourself. Don't let the fear keep you from doing it. And don't let the guilt make you regret it. Stand up for yourself. But also, don't go around fighting everybody. Choose what's most important for you. You know, if, if somebody leaves... Um, if, if, if you pull in a parking spot and you can't get in because some idiot parked their car way too far across the line, is it worth going in and finding that person or scratching up their car <laughs> or starting a fight? No, choose your battle. You know what I'm saying, Virgo? Go find another parking spot. You know, they, they'll get theirs because people that do that are either, they're either el elderly and they don't know or they just ha don't have good perception skills or the peripheral vision is wonky or they're just jerks. It is what it is, right? So choose your battles wisely. But if there's something that's really important to you, stick to your guns. That's the message there. Okay, so you've got also the Two of Swords. 
You could be stuck this week also where you're unable or unwilling to make a decision about something. And you know what? If that's the way you feel this week, it's okay. It's not time to make the decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem. Don't do that and don't overanalyze the situation. This is one of those situations where with the Two of Swords, it's pretty much like you either need to compromise or you need to make a decision not to compromise. But if you don't feel like you're able to this week about anything that comes up, could be your work, could be about a relationship, it could be about love, it, 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 health, anything. Someone's born in 1972, I just heard. Whatever the situation is, sit on it. Just wait, it will come to you. They ask for the answer to be revealed as far as some kind of decision. And if you can't decide, you, you may just decide. I mean, there is always the option of compromise right um but it depends you know it depends you know like if you don't have a job and you were making say fifty dollars an hour for example and now you don't have a job and a job comes to you and they're only going to pay you 25 well 25 is more than zero so you might have to just take the position until the 50 comes back or more do you know what i mean that sometimes we need to compromise for the short term in order to get to the long term because the current situation may not be great otherwise you just need to wait okay you also have wise counselor there is unity this week with a spiritually minded community also ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come you could be comparing traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you okay hmm so that's hierophant energy right there even though it doesn't really, it kind of actually makes me feel like it's more like um, the High Priestess. Okay. They're just giving me the word varnish. I'm hearing varnish. What the heck? Oops. Okay, you also have balance. Less, uh, blending, you... Oh, wow. This week you could be blending your ideas with other people to create something extraordinary this week. There's a successful compromise that could occur. You have the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. So nice, I really like those messages. This week looks pretty damn phenomenal for you, Virgo. It's just nothing but positive energy. There is an argument and a separation, oops, but, um. I feel like that that's just going to be that's just going to work itself out. Just let, sometimes I feel like just let things work themselves out. You know, whatever's meant to be is meant to be. Don't stress. All right. I just wanted to ask the physical features of the new person coming in. Okay, wavy hair. Oh, straight hair and wavy hair. Okay, they might have wavy hair and they straighten their hair. Or one of both. One or one or either. One of one of the one of them. Um, okay, hey, go for the man bun. Why not? <laughs> Who's judging? Don't judge. I personally like the man bun look. I think I don't even know if guys wear man buns anymore, but it's got that Jesus feel to it. You know what I mean? Kind of like that look. It's a little um, I don't know. Got to have long hair to have a man bun. So I, I particularly, I mean, it just depends. Like I, I, I don't. I'm not gonna get into this. Let's move on. <laughs> Who cares what I think? It's only my channel. Who cares what I think? Okay, straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair. So pick one. <laughs> all right, and brown eyes. Okay, obviously these are all long hair. So the message, like first of all, brown eyes for sure are anywhere along the color of brown. Could even be like the dark yellow, that which is amazing color. Um, but what I feel like to tell you is Mask, uh, gender doesn't matter. Pronouns do, doesn't matter. This person will have long hair and they do, they either straighten it or they wear it wavy or they wear it curly or they put it up in a ponytail, masculine or feminine. That's the energy of this person coming in. Now, if the person you meet has super, super short hair and they have never had any of this, this could be you. Okay. Or it's just not for you. It's just not your message. That's that. All right, we have Aquarius, Libra, Aries, and Sag. 
And I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, that's my ex. I'm not having a date with him. I did not say anything about an ex. You're doing that. You're making this reading. You're trying to fit it to be yours. It's nothing. This is somebody new. Just so you know. Well, it doesn't resonate. Well, of course it doesn't because it's Sunday. And this is for the week ahead. Okay, so I'm having an argument inside my own head with comments that have been previously posted where I don't have the time and energy to comment back, but let me just say this up front. We have September 14th, September 11th, September 1st, September 4th, the 22nd, August 28th, okay. So someone's 36, we have 43, we have 52, 49, 84, 79, 76, 70, 64, uh, the 31st, or 31, 57. Okay, I'm hearing Milan which would, I guess, be Italy. Um, we do have January and we have March. Very significant months. And September 6th. Did I say that yet? No, I don't think I did. Okay. So somebody's name is June. Okay, hold on. Let me get them in the, in the all letters together and see. Oh, somebody uses Olay, oil, oil of Olay, or says Olay, Olay. Someone eats Goya and or soy. Goya or soy. Okay, we have Lay, like a Lay. Hawaii. It reminds me of Hawaii. Okay. Uh, somebody's really good with numbers. Um, you might feel like they're just saying someone might have like numbness and tingling. Um, somebody's quite lean. And I'm also picking up someone is currently driving while you're listening to this. Okay. Um, so we have Alan. Picking up Alan. Emily or Emma. Neem, Neem, Reneem, Lene, uh, Gal, someone's name is Gal, G-A-L, someone's getting gas, Gal and gas, uh, Galilee, uh, Gem, okay, okay, Mel, May. Ooh. Uh, Jim. Jeanette. Janet. Jeanette. Janet. Someone's born in June. Significant to you. A June birthday. Ginny. Okay. Hold on. Mimi, Miranda. All right, let's go to the charms. I mean, you never call out my name. That's all right. Okay. All right, y'all, the pink kitty is back. That's a shaved pink kitty. I'm not saying any more about that. Okay, we do have a horse. It's coming in pretty quick. And, oh, it's a horse, uh, horse show or racing horses. Something to do with racing horses. Somebody might race horses or do something with horses. Okay, so we have a cello. There's a mermaid. Butterfly. You know, let me tell you guys something. Over the weekend, right? A little spiritual message. And I didn't even look it up. And I should know, but I didn't even look it up. I'm going off. I'm not really going off topic, but I was in, in the pool on Saturday, Saturday, or it was Friday. I think it was Friday because it rained Saturday. And there was a dragonfly that was hovering over me. 
and then he was flying back and forth and he would like fly and hover over over the pool okay and i'm like watching i'm like so much i was twisting my neck you know just going back and forth and then out of nowhere he hovers over top of me and then he lowers himself right eye to eye face to face and he just is like hovering right there like stopping looking at he might have been about i don't know two arm lengths away and he was just facing me and i'm like look at him like what are you doing dude what's up dragonfly how's it going you coming swimming <laughs> it was crazy but i'm gonna look it up because i forget um when you see a dragonfly meaning it means something so you might see uh, a dragonfly over this weekend right dragonflies hover do they hover I can't remember I think that's what it was it wasn't it wasn't a hummingbird no it was a dragonfly it was beautiful oh they represent change oh dragonflies transform from aquatic nymphs into airborne adults which can represent self-realization and change that comes from mental and emotional maturity their flight across water can also symbolize looking beyond the surface to discover deeper aspects of life so yeah spiritual awakening at the pool y'all it was pretty neat it was it was neato 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 and also virgo you do have the yin yang here okay and i feel like in regards to this connection with somebody new here you're gonna meet the yin to your yang you might have been um in the past been involved with relationships who are the yang to your yang or the yin to your yin butting heads i feel like you're gonna make a match here okay so yeah this mermaid now i do see someone wearing a gown a backless gown and actually this butterfly so somebody's going to be working on some art paintings of butterflies or you might see one this week like a butterfly so it kind of looks like something a little kid draws you know what i mean like it's in a coloring book kind of remember i was saying that listen don't knock it i think that color coloring and coloring books or even those i forget mandala books or whatever or um just going outside and blowing bubbles is very relaxing it's very calming it's very peaceful it helps good focus it's really great i love it once in a while i'll, I'll take up the, the bubble blowing you know that'd be my thing just sit outside and blow bubbles um are we done i think that's it yeah pretty good timing here almost 50 minutes so yeah don't forget if you want to get a personal reading you know there's a link in the description box below go ahead and click that link um if you've joined my channel recently welcome thank you for becoming a member um don't forget to go over to my other channel moon pie tarot to um uh subscribe over there become a member right so you can also get the collective readings over there which is that's like getting two readings a day for you um yeah so anybody has joined recently nope that's it you guys all the same people so thanks for sticking around and supporting the channel and uh, yeah, I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. If not, have a great week. Bye.